बिकॉज जस्ट फ्यू मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट टू टू थ्री मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट वी नीड टू स्टडी रियली रियली हार्ड हाई प्रेशर टाइम समथिंग वी नीड इज योर मोटिवेशन मोटिवेशन इज समथिंग विच शुड बी देयर फ्रॉम योर विद इन दैट क्लियर गोल्स अ गोल विदाउट अ प्लान इज जस्ट अ विश आई कैन डू इट द ओनली थिंग दैट इज दैट विल बी सीन आफ्टर थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स विल बी योर रिजल्ट हेलो डियर चैंपियंस एंड विशिंग यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड आई रियली विश दैट यू गेट ऑल द लाइक बेस्ट थिंग्स इन दिस ईयर बेस्ट कॉलेज बेस्ट रैंक योर डिजायर्ड ब्रांच सो दैट योर फ्यूचर इज सिक्योर राइट बट टू गेट ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स समथिंग दैट इज रिक्वाइर्ड इज वी नीड टू स्टडी रियली रियली हार्ड बिकॉज जस्ट फ्यू मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट टू टू थ्री मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट फॉर आर एग्जाम्स राइट एंड टू स्टडी हार्ड ड्यूरिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर आई कैन से हाई प्रेशर टाइम समथिंग वी नीड is your motivation right and uh, with so many exams coming up here right your je some many of you will be writing your je examination kset examination pu board examination it is quite obvious that you will be sometimes very nervous sometimes anxious okay sometimes frustrated about your preparation and sometimes depressed about your preparation okay sometimes you feel very energetic motivated but sometime your motivation goes down right but something that we need to keep high for this whole exam tension exam period is our motivation so in this video we are going to discuss how you can keep yourself motivated during this exam tension period so that you can study hard you can give your 100% efforts and you will be achieving the success after 3 to 4 months right so yes students in this video i won't be telling i always believe that motivation is something which should be there from your within okay it doesn't come from any external source how many videos you watch you get motivated for one or two days maybe for one week but after that again it comes down but yes if you are self motivated if your motivation is there from the inside you have that eagerness to get something to achieve something then nobody can stop you okay so yes in this video i'll be telling you some tricks and trips how you can motivate yourself okay how you can do self motivated and if you follow these tips then definitely you will at least work hard for your success okay let's get started with the first thing that you should be doing is set clear goals it is always important to have goals in life when we have goals then when we we achieve it right so you should have set uh, you should be having clear goals your sh goal should not be like i want to be a topper in kset no not like that you should be writing exactly the amount the marks that you want in kset examination the rank you want in the kset examination the college you want to join the branch you want to join okay i really want all of you now to comment down in the comment section that which college which branch you want for your career okay all of you please quickly comment it down if you are watching this video okay so i told you first thing is what you should have define your target very very clear target i can just give you an example i know that my uh, i have how much time how much is my preparation i think that in uh, board examination okay because it is easy to score i can definitely try for 295 plus and since i am good at chemistry i will try for 100 marks in chemistry okay 100 marks in bio okay this is my target physics i am not very strong but i am not even very weak also so i can get like 90 plus in physics okay and somewhere 85 plus in maths see this is my target based on my strength and weakness okay so whichever is your strength make sure that you do the best performance in that and whichever is a weak subject you always have to do better in that okay so this is my target so board i will be getting 295 plus and i this is my target and just if i see i'm getting here 200 okay and here it is so we know pcm marks will be counted right pcm so if i just see 100 plus 90 plus 85 just just is it giving me 295 plus no it is just giving me 275 plus okay so i what i can do is i can improve so further more in physics and maths and i just can make it like this one also 90 plus okay so something just i need to arrange or this target i can reduce okay so based on my strength weakness and preparation i have to put a target for myself okay next kset examination 
Okay, so I know case it examination I have prepared well. I have been watching the case it 60 out of 60 chem, uh, series in Diksha Karnataka for example, okay. And I have been following all the videos, I have been give, giving mock tests, I have been performing really well in the mock test. So yes, I can definitely target 140 plus in case it. Okay, so this is my target. Your goal should be clearly determined, should be clearly defined. Okay, then only we can achieve it. So step number one is clear. Next step two is a very important saying here is there a goal without a plan is just a wish. So if I just say that yes, I want 290 plus in uh, uh, boards, but I don't have any plan for that for the next two months, what I'm going to do, I don't know. So if you do not have a particular plan, then whatever you dream is nothing but a wish only. Okay, so to achieve to convert your wish to goal uh, or to convert your dream to reality, you need to have a plan for that. Okay, so the next thing is about that. How can you plan for it? You need to have a good study plan. Okay, so study plan doesn't mean study timetable. You should not have like a 6 to 6 15. I'll brush my teeth 6 15 to 6 30. I'll do jogging 6 30. I will read maths lot not like that. Make sure that you fix three things in your study timetable or study routine your wake up time okay you should fix your wake up time you should uh, fix your sleeping time okay fix these two after that you should be having your number of study hours fixed okay so now again, please comment down all of you. What is your wake up time and what is your sleeping time? I know it is winter. Many of you might be uh, sleeping till late. Okay, but yes, because very difficult to wake up early, right students, but do not worry. Please just put your comment at what time you wake up and what what time you sleep. Okay, so let me just know what I, what is the daily routine of my students. Okay, so and you should have this number of study hours fixed. So suppose I have six hours of studying. Okay, now many of you might not be even going to colleges. You can have 10 hours of study as well. Okay, so because it is exam time, make sure that you have a uh, like more number of study hours, but not like 12 to 16 hours where it is not productive, but you should have productive study hours. Okay, now how should you make the study plan? you should have a weekly plan okay so you should be doing like this particular week i'll be finishing two chapters of chemistry two chapters of physics two chapter of maths what are those chapters that you are going to finish note them note them down and you study according to your mood okay suppose now you are feeling very energetic and you are in a mood to solve numericals then go for maths if at this point of time you are not, your brain is not very active, you don't want to solve numericals and all, you just want to read some theory part, go for chemistry. But at the end of the week, your target should be finished. That is your motto, okay? Do not make a, like every day what subject, what chapter, do not make study timetable like this. This is something, uh, many uh, blunder that many students do. I highly recommend to avoid this right now, okay? Third is to focus on the process, not on the results. Now, do not think that if I study like this, what I'll be getting, okay, what will be the result? Will I be getting 290 plus or not? Will I be able to score 140 plus or not? At this moment, just focus on your efforts. Every day you are putting 100% or not. Every week target is completed or not. Every day, whatever uh, study hours you're sitting, six hours, seven hours, were they productive or not? Your focus should be on the daily thing that you are doing right now. Okay, whether you are able to achieve the weekly targets or not, whether you are studying uh, like focused or not, whether you are able to solve questions or not, what rank you will get, what college you will get, do not think more about that. You should be focusing on the process. Okay. Next, very important is positive self-talk. I can't tell you how much effective is this particular technique. I myself have uh, used this so many times in my life and it really works. Okay, it is like something, you know, the universe uh, talks to you. So when you do self-talk, the universe really puts some effort to make your effort successful. Okay, so you can just do not just feel very negative about yourself always talk to yourself do tell yourself that yes you will be able to achieve it i can do it i will do it i will do better okay so use certain positive affirmations for you and this really works trust me try this it will work for you okay next very important is to take break okay now students what generally do is they are so much uh, they sometimes get so motivated and just they just uh, sit for 12 to 16 hours for one day and study 
and next day also they how somehow manage third day they man manage fourth day it breaks right so do not do in this way your study plan should be realistic and a realistic plan one major component of a realistic study plan is taking breaks okay so just start with small if you haven't studied anything if you're just starting studying seriously so make sure that you're studying for 20 minutes okay just study for 20 minutes and take a five minutes break or 10 minutes break okay next day just increase increase this to 23 minutes next day makes it 30 minutes so improve like this okay slow and steady improvement is required break is very important but make sure that you do not get distracted when you take this break do not just go and watch instagram watch facebook or watch uh, reels and all do not do this when you take break you can do small walking you can listen to music you can do small physical activities you can talk to your parents you can share your uh, preparation with your parents they will definitely happy to listen to this okay so do such activities but do not get social distractions this uh, social media distractions you need to avoid during your breaks okay that is very very important and uh, one more thing so here i have given you some ideas what you can do you can just have some healthy snacks as well in your break hour okay next coming very important is connect with your support system so generally students support system are their parents generally okay but yes sometimes parents are not supportive they can talk to their friends your cousins your siblings if you do not have anybody please feel free to talk to me you can comment down all your difficulties all your trouble whatever you are facing at this point of time i will definitely try to pacify you so make sure that you always talk you always whatever is there inside you the thing that is troubling you let it come out okay let it be expressed or else if you do not have anyone just put it on your notebook just put it on your diary write down your feelings and all you will really feel light-hearted after that okay so just always whenever you feel that pressure right pressure should be released that's all okay next is your very very important to stay healthy and energized okay so because we are now in the point of very very near to the examination just two to three months and now if we get unhealthy or if we fall sick okay we are doing nothing but you cannot give excuse after the results are out that i was sick so i could not study right that excuse will not be accepted the only thing that is that will be seen after three to four months will be your results nobody is going to ask you why you didn't score why you scored nothing what was your rank was the question that will be asked by people to you so you cannot afford to give any excuse at that point of time so falling sick nobody will care whether you fall sick or oh, you were not ill so you didn't get good rank nobody will think like that right the only thing they will see is okay you didn't get the rank you didn't qualify you were a failure right so that is why make sure that you are healthy you do not have any bad habits at this particular three to four months during the exam take proper food balanced diet avoid avoid junk food okay I know this telling is very easy but yes you can restrict yourself you have a disciplined life wake up early do some physical activities okay so stay healthy because that also helps you to remain uh, like to retain things better okay so yes remember this no one is going to listen to your excuses next very important is very very important is visualizing success so visualizing success is something when you see just yourself okay imagine yourself that you have got the cs branch or suppose you are interested in mechanical branch you have you are interested in rv college so just imagine that you are wearing the uniforms and going to rv college i don't know whether uniform is there or not just imagine putting bag and going to rv college and you are in the top suppose you want to uh, get good marks in your PU. Just imagine that you are the state topper. There is a, a rank list where your rank is at the top. Your name, you can just imagine like this. Okay. So when you visualize this success, okay, and suppose you are just sitting and not studying and you visualize this success, you yourself get motivated to work for that. Right. So yes, students, visualizing success also is a very, very important thing which can keep you self-motivated okay so yes that's all in this particular video and i hope that this has really helped you this will help you to 
motivate yourself for the next four months and to work really hard to put 100% of your efforts each and every day, each and every minute counts from now. Do not waste a single minute and any trouble, any problem you have, please comment down. I will definitely help you, okay? Anything you want, we can have live session where we can discuss. Any Anything is there that is required by you, I will always be there to help you students. So please remember that and put down if you have any any trouble, please let me know and just put down your sleeping time and waking up time and put down your targets in the comment section, okay? So let us see how many of you are responding to this. So yes, students, that's all in this video and once again, wishing you a very happy new year and I really wish that you all get success in this particular 2025 and you get the best college, best dream, uh, branch, everything best comes to you. Thank you, students, and see you soon.